What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video we will be getting the Jennifer Battle Pet, which uh, is actually secret, it was found by the WoW Secrets Discord community, so you guys should definitely check them out, a uh, link to them will be in the description below. This thing, to my knowledge, has taken a uh, quite some time to figure out, like ever since Legion, I think. Sometime in Legion was when they started finding it. But anyways, uh, there's no previous criteria you need to get this. Alliance and Horde can't get this. There's no items you need, nothing like that. So uh, without further ado, let's let's just get started finding this pet. So now we are in Ashenvale and we are right here. Very left side of Ashenvale. This is at 17.29, uh, 49.39 if you have the Tom Tom coordinate add on. And we're gonna speak to Amara Lunastar. She is the first person you have to speak to. You do have to talk to her. You cannot skip any of these steps. You have to. So talk to her. I will keep an eye. It's like I'll keep an eye out for it. I didn't read what else she said there, but talk to her. Next step is taking us to Elwyn Forest, and we're going to come to right here to a crazy cat lady. Uh, if you have a coordinate out on, you can do 44.2, 53.4 to take you to her house, which is, yep, it's right here. Just to show on the map, this location. And if we walk inside, yep, Doni and uh, whatever her name is. You don't need to talk to her. You instead, in the corner, there's an empty dish. You do need to interact with the empty dish. Click on it, inspecting an empty food dish unremarkable except for a few strange gashes around the rim so there is that and in case some um, anyone was curious of how people found the next step uh there's a piece of kibble you might be able to see it it's right there there's another piece of kibble right there you don't need to click them or anything but uh apparently if you like trans transpose that onto the eastern kingdom map or something it leads you to to karazhan um don't ask me how they found that out like I said, you don't need to click the kibble or look at it at all. I was just just, just showing that off. So let's go to Karazhan. So here we are at uh, Karazhan and we need to go into the return to Karazhan. So not the you know, Burning Crusade raid, but the, um, the, the Legion dungeon, return to Karazhan. So let's go ahead and um, head right in. This is pretty much the last step. We have to gather a bunch of pieces of like meat around Karazhan and then um, place them in specific locations. So the first place we are going to go to is, um, we're gonna go to Moros's room. I think that's how you say his name. Whatever that boss's name is. You do want to do the opera event. Now, before we head to Moros's room, um, I think that's what the boss's name is. Moros, okay, I was just um, saying it weird. Before we head there, we do want to clear out all of these uh, spectral patrons that are in this big open area because this is actually where you're going to get Jennifer. The pieces of meat that you pick, out, pick up throughout Karazhan, you place them in this area because as you see, it's kind of like a grid. There are specific spots where you have to place the pieces of meat. So we're just gonna kill these guys. And this is uh, cleared enough. Gonna kill this guy, cause why not? And now let's, let's head over there. So this is really it. The uh, pieces, I'm being attacked by something. Oh, over there. So the pieces of uh, meat and fish and whatever you pick up are kind of off on these tables. Actually, let's go ahead and clear these guys out because I think I need to pick up some things on that table as well. Okay, that's good. So first thing you're going to pick up on this table is a slathered rib. So, and you do kind of have to do this in a semi-quick succession, which is why um, 
you probably want to watch what I pick up first before you start picking them up because they stay in your inventory for five minutes. So we're going to pick that up. You see it has a five minute timer. And then we're going to pick up a, a drumstick. And the Gypsy drumstick is when you just turn around from that table, it's on the ground right here. So now you have to pick up fishy bits. It is also on the ground at uh, the corner of this table. So now that we have these three pieces, my inventory is atrocious, sorry. We're now going to run up to the next level to pick up the next piece. I walked over it like 20 times, but it is right here on the ground on this carpet. So those are the stairs we walked up from Moro's. Click this. And now let's head back into the big room where the banquet hall is or the, um, the place where we cleared all the guys. So right in this room, I'm going to put a picture on the screen now because it might help you of where you need to, these are, this is only half of the items that you need. There's, I do have three minutes to place these. So there are uh, four more items. These are half of them. So this first one, we're going to place the juicy drumstick right on this tile right here. Where you see those stairs, you see that uh, parchment paper right there. Juicy drumstick right there. Now on the corner of this one, on that one, right on this tile, we're going to place the slathered ribs just like that now we're going to move over to to this one this space right here and place the fishy bits until they are right fishy bits place them right there and then the marbled stick so let's go over to the slathered rib one and we're going to walk down let's see it should be three so one two three just making sure and then move over one and in this uh, in this tile we're going to place the marbled stick so place those right there all four are placed now we're going to go and get the other four pieces so now we're in this room this is to the maiden of virtue just gonna kill some of these guys here not really required to kill but i don't want them to really get in my way. So, killing them here. Okay. Should be good enough for right now. So, four more pieces. We need to pick up a, what is this? This is um, meaty morsel, I think. The meaty morsel, get out of here. Patrol is right here on this pedestal. Click that, you pick that up, and then there should be another fishy bits opposite corner right there we're now going to pick that up and then two more pieces we're going to walk into this room to our left before you get to the main of virtue and we're going to pick up uh, i think it's another marbled steak get out of here kill these guys remember these do have a five minute timer in your inventory uh, but then when you place them you should be good so this should be in the corner of this room Oh yeah, it is. It's just hidden behind this chair. So make sure you pick that up. And then in this room, corner of this room, before you get to that crystal over there, pick up this juicy drumstick. And those are the last four pieces. So let's go back to that room where we were placing them all at. So here we are. Pieces of meat have still been placed. Let's go to this one right here, this marbled stake that we placed right on this tile, go down diagonal to this tile right here, and we will place a meaty morsel right there. Now go down diagonal from this one right here. So right here, place the fishy bits just like that down diagonal from this one in between these two uh, chairs and we will place the marbled steak and we have one more down diagonal from this one almost there right here place the juicy drumstick and uh, so, oh wait let me play my desk with all audio do you guys hear that no. nice 
I had my desktop audio turned off on OBS, so I just had it turned on. And Jennifer is now right here. Click Jennifer. So then you pet her. And you get Jennifer. Um, oh, automatically added to your journal. So it doesn't go in your uh, bags, doesn't go in your mailbox. And that's it. That is how you get to the Jennifer pet. Uh, this one took a, well, to get it, super easy. Takes a total of maybe 10 minutes. Uh, most of the time is flying around to like Ashenvale and Elwyn Forest and all that. But uh, I'm I'm happy that the, the Secrets Discord community was able to come together and find it because they find all of the amazing, you know, secrets in this. So once again, link to their Discord will be in the description. There will be a written link, Wowhead link to this guide if you guys want to check that out. And um, that's the entire video. Let's actually take a look at Jennifer. So as you've been able to tell, there's no achievements associated with this. Jennifer right there has the ability to scratch, tentacle stab. I don't know if you guys heard that, but let me play it again and not talk over it. Never mind. I apologize. It's not going to play it again. But it played a, a noise when I first summoned Jennifer. Anyways, has the ability of scratch, tentacle stab, sniff out, uh, foreboding curse, feed, and dark rebirth. And where you go? Oh, there's Jennifer. So that's the entire video, guys. If you found it helpful at all, do feel free to leave a like on it. You can sub to the channel for more videos like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.